Question 15. So to start off we've got six milk chocolates and four plain chocolates. So the chances of eating a milk chocolate is six out of ten. Ten coming from six plus four equals ten. So the chances of a milk chocolate is six out of ten and the chance of Rob eating a plain chocolate is obviously four out of ten. <coughs> now Rob eats a sweet. So as he passes the box over to Alison, there are no longer ten sweets in it, there are nine sweets. So that's why the denominator here each time is nine. Now quite what we've got quite what those nine are depends on what happens first time around. So when Rob ate a milk milk chocolate sweet, there were no longer six milk chocolate sweets, but five when Alison took her pick. So that's why her choice is five out of nine. Now, given that Rob has had a milk chocolate sweet, that has no impact on the plain chocolate sweets. So there's still four of those when she, when Alison takes a pick. So that's why that's four out of nine. Notice how on every occasion the the two probabilities on this crocodile mouth always add up to a whole. Six out of ten, four out of ten is a whole. Five out of nine, four out of nine is a whole. Now let's consider the two probabilities down here. This is when Rob has eaten a plain chocolate to to start with. So, yep, there are nine sweets in total, but what now are the chances of Alison having a milk chocolate sweet? Well, there are still six milk chocolate sweets there. However, given that Rob's eaten one of the plain chocolate sweets, there are only three of those there. So, again, these two probabilities add up to a whole. Now, part B, work out the probability that there are now exactly three plain chocolates in the box. Three plain chocolates. So there were four plain chocolates to start with. So we're interested in the scenario when Rob ate a milk and then Alison ate a plain. Because that will mean that Alison's eaten one of the plain chocolates, hence there are three left. So that is of interest to us, a milk and then a plain milk then a plain 6 over 10 and then 4 over 9 so you multiply those together alternatively we're interested in the scenario where Rob ate a plain but then Alison ate a milk chocolate sweet again that would just reduce the number of planes by one so we're interested in this journey 4 over 10 and then 6 over 9 where it's an and you multiply, so 4 over 10 times 6 over 9. Remember, to multiply fractions, it's top times top, bottom times bottom, so we get two lots of 24 over 90. Now, we don't mind whether it's this scenario or this scenario. When it's an or, you add the probability together, so we add these two together. Remember, once you've got a common denominator, that remains unchanged when you add them together. So that's 48 over 90. That would give you full marks, but you could have simplified it down to 24 over 45 or 8 over 15 if you wanted.